All right, so get this. We're diving into a game today. Um, it's called Paradise. And let me tell you, it's making some serious waves in the gaming world. Yeah, yeah. It's more than just hype, though. Like, Paradise is, well, generating all this buzz because it's promising something, uh, something we haven't really seen before, you know, a truly AI-driven open world. Right, and we actually have this article here titled Bigger Than GTA, Meet Paradise, the Future of Open World Gaming by Sriniti Ranganathan. And, well, that's that's exactly the question it's asking. Yeah. I mean, Grand Theft Auto, GTA, that set a high bar for open world freedom. But could this Paradise game, could it actually be onto something even bigger? I think that's the uh, that's the really fascinating part here. You know, it's not just about like a bigger map or you know more explosions. Paradise is like shifting the focus to something much more ambitious. You know, mm. creating a virtual society, a world that feels uh, as complex and reactive as our own. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. So let's let's break this down a little. The article uh, it calls Paradise an AI driven simulation. So what does that actually, I mean, what does that even mean for a player? Well, imagine imagine stepping into a game world where the uh, the NPCs, you know, the, the non-playable characters, they aren't just these robots running on scripts. Yeah. In Paradise, they're, they're like powered by artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. right? Meaning they have individual personalities and relationships that change over time. And the ability to uh, to actually surprise you. Wow! So no more of those those canned responses you get in most games. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Think of it this way: like you walk into a shop, and the the shopkeeper they remember your last interaction. Maybe even brings up something something you did in a completely different part of the game. Huh. Or or maybe you help an NPC with like a a seemingly minor problem, Yikes. and later on, like much later on you discover that that act of kindness it it had like a ripple effect on the city's uh political landscape oh wow that's that's what we mean by emerging gameplay you know the world reacts to your actions in ways even the uh even the developers couldn't fully predict wow so the same city could like could actually feel completely different on each playthrough like because the ai is driving the experience precisely it's it's a living breathing world even when you're you know even when you're not playing mm -hmm. and that uh and that kind of brings us back to the the GTA comparison. I mean, Grand Theft Auto, it, you know, it gave you this amazing freedom to explore and cause chaos. But Paradise is, it's offering a, a different kind of freedom, you know, the freedom to experience a world that's constantly evolving and, and reacting to your choices uh, in unpredictable ways. So, I mean, is it even fair to compare the two? It seems like they're aiming for completely different gaming experiences. It's true. You know, Paradise isn't trying to be like the next GTA. It's not just about bigger and better graphics or you know, more outrageous missions. It's about creating a game world that feels uh, truly alive and responsive. A world where you're not, you know, you're not just following uh, a predetermined path, but, but carving your own way through a complex web of relationships, events, and consequences. Well, instead of following like a set storyline, you're, you're kind of just dropped into this this swirling unpredictable world and have to figure out how to how to navigate it you got it it's like it's like the difference between reading a novel and and stepping into a uh a choose your own adventure book right you know but but on a massive scale mm. and that's uh that's a pretty pretty radical departure from from most open world games we've seen before i'm definitely intrigued how exactly does the um the ai work to make all this possible like is it really that different from from what we see in other games well, in, in most games, you know, NPCs are they're basically puppets. They might have different lines of dialogue depending on what you know what you do, but it's all pre-programmed. Paradise. Paradise throws that out the window. They're using these advanced AI models that give these characters a level of uh, a level of autonomy we've never seen before. Wait, so are you saying these NPCs can actually can actually have like like conversations with you, like real back and forth, where they react to what you say and and do in real time. That's exactly what they're aiming for. Wow! Imagine being able to have a like a genuine debate with a character about politics or philosophy or or negotiate a deal that isn't just you know based on a predetermined script. They'll they'll even have their own goals and motivations, forming alliances, getting into conflicts, and and generally behaving in ways that feel much more uh more human and unpredictable okay now i'm starting to see why people are calling this a, a potential game changer it's it's not just about better graphics or a bigger map it's about the potential for a whole new level of immersion and unpredictability and that potential is uh that's what makes paradise so exciting even though we haven't even seen any gameplay footage yet it's like the 
the game itself is a, a giant question mark. You know, no. can they really pull this off? And if they if they do, what are the what are the implications? Well, I mean, we've laid the groundwork, but there's so much more to uncover. Uh, the article highlights some incredible features that really set Paradise apart. So let's let's dig into those right after this. All right, so we're back and uh, ready to really dive into like the nuts and bolts of what makes Paradise so unique. The article, you know, it really hypes up some of its key features. Yeah, and and for good reason. Uh, we've we talked about the the AI driven NPCs, but the article also mentioned things like like dynamic NPCs, Unreal Engine five graphics, and a a functioning ecosystem. I mean, it's a lot to unpack. Right, right. Okay, let's let's start with the dynamic NPCs. What what does that actually mean in terms of you know gameplay? Well, it means every every single character, uh, no matter how how seemingly insignificant, comes with their own uh, their own personality and a story that unfolds over time. Like you mm. might bump into a street vendor one day, and later, like much later, find out they're they're embroiled in a political conspiracy or have a hidden talent that changes your your interaction completely. So, so no two NPCs are alike, and their stories like evolve as you play. That's that's pretty wild. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it it like feeds into that feeling of a a truly living world, and then and then there are the graphics. I mean, Paradise is being built on Unreal Engine five, which is like. The bleeding edge of game engine technology. Wow, we're we're talking hyper realistic visuals right. from you know bustling cityscapes to incredibly detailed natural environments. Think think photorealism, but but in a world that's that's actually reacting to your choices. Okay, now I'm picturing like these lifelike characters, each with their own story, moving through a world that looks almost almost real. It's it's already pushing my imagination <laughs> to its limits. And and we haven't even uh, touched on the functioning ecosystem yet. That's where it. That's where it all comes together. Imagine a world where shops they open and close, people go to work, uh, relationships they form and fall apart. All, all independent of your, you know, your, your actions as a player. So it's it's not just a, like a static backdrop. It's it's a simulated society that that runs on its own internal clock, even when you're you're not logged in. Precisely, the the game world isn't like waiting for you to to make something happen it's it's constantly churning creating these uh these little stories and events that that you might stumble upon or completely miss you know depending on where you are and what you're doing it's almost like the difference between like watching a movie and living in a in a simulation you're you're not just following a director's vision you're you're like a part of this unpredictable evolving world that's a that's a great way to put it and and this constant activity it feeds into the the AI driven interactions that the that the article mentions mm. it's it's not just that the the NPCs look realistic or that they have you know unique backstories it's that their actions and reactions are driven by the yeah. by the AI so you you never know what to expect so every conversation every every encounter could be could be totally different depending on the state of the world and the choices you've made exactly it's like that uh you know that butterfly effect idea mm. where small decisions can have massive unforeseen consequences you might help someone out and it, it sparks a chain of events that that leads to a, a political upheaval or or a gang war erupting across Fox the city or, or you might just you know you might just walk by oblivious to the the drama unfolding around you that's that's a level of unpredictability we've I mean we've never seen before in games but it also it also makes me wonder like how much control do you how much control do you actually have in a game like this if the AI is if the AI is calling the shots are are you just along for the ride that's that's a that's a key question. Yeah, and and it's it's something that the developers are still you know still working out. The idea is to is to strike a balance between uh, player agency and and AI autonomy. You'll have you'll have freedom to explore, to interact, to make choices, but the the world won't revolve around you. It it has its own. Uh, it's all momentum. So it's more of a like a collaborative experience. Yeah. You're you're shaping the world with your with your choices, but the AI is also pushing the story forward in its own in its own way. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's a it's a partnership. And and that's where the the potential for emergent gameplay, it really it really explodes. Yeah. Because with so many so many moving parts, so many happening independently of the of the player, the the possibilities become I mean they practically become limitless. Yeah, I, I can see why people are, are getting so excited. But but it also sounds incredibly, incredibly challenging. It is. And and that's uh that's what makes it such a fascinating uh experiment. Can they can they really build a game that can that can handle this level of complexity where the AI doesn't just you know, break the game or create unfair situations. That's that's a great point. We've we've been focusing on all the positives, but are there are there any potential downsides to 
to this approach? Well, there's always the the risk of things going going haywire. What if what if the AI creates a scenario that's like that's impossible to win, or a character makes a decision that completely completely derails your your progress? Mm-hmm. Finding the the sweet spot between between freedom and and structure is is crucial, and it's a challenge for for any open world game, let alone let alone one that's that's driven by by AI. So there's a lot a lot riding on the developers getting the the AI just right. Absolutely, yeah. But if they but if they can pull it off, it can, like redefine what we what we expect from games. Instead of instead of playing through the same you know scripted story, imagine a game where every every playthrough is unique, where you're you're constantly surprised by the by the AI's choices and where the where the world keeps evolving long after you after you log off. It's a it's a tantalizing idea, and it raises a lot of questions about the future of of gaming what kind of like what kind of players would this appeal to what are the the ethical implications of creating a virtual a virtual society driven by by ai mm-hmm. and and of course the big one can can paradise really live up to all the all the hype those are all those are all questions we'll we'll dig into as we continue our our deep dive stay yeah. tuned because this is this is where things get get really interesting okay so we've covered a, a lot of ground here talking about paradise you know from the ai powered npcs to to that promise of a of a truly dynamic and reactive world but i think you know now we kind of have to face the the big question can it really live up to the hype right that's that's what everyone's asking i mean can can paradise actually like deliver on this this vision, this vision of a game that that feels more like a, a simulation where the the line between uh, plural and AI kind of starts to blur. Well, the article it definitely makes a a pretty bold claim, you know, yeah, suggesting right. Paradise could could even eclipse the the legacy of of GTA and become the most immersive game like of our time. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty lofty goal, mm. uh, no doubt. GTA, you know, it set the standard for for open world freedom, but Paradise. Paradise is aiming for something, something different. It's not just about giving players, you know, a massive sandbox to, to play in. It's it's about creating a world with its own, uh, its own internal logic. A world where the the characters and events feel like they they exist independent of the the player. Yeah, and that's that's a, a huge challenge. And honestly, it's it's way too early to say for sure if if they can really pull it off. I mean, we we haven't seen any any actual gameplay yet, so there's there's still a lot of mystery surrounding surrounding Paradise. Absolutely. And and that's part of the the intrigue, right? We're we're all just, you know, eager to see how this whole experiment plays out. But even even if even if Paradise doesn't like achieve everything, everything it sets out to do, it's already it's already pushing the the boundaries of of what we what we think is even possible in in gaming. Yeah, I I, th- I think that's a that's a really key takeaway here. Whether whether it succeeds or not, I mean, Paradise is is sparking a, a conversation about about the future of of gaming. It's it's yeah. challenging developers to think to think beyond traditional, you know, game design and explore the the potential of AI to create truly truly immersive and and unpredictable experiences. And that's that's incredibly uh, incredibly valuable. It's it's like Paradise is a, a catalyst. Yes. You know, pushing the the industry forward, even if it even if it stumbles stumbles along the way. Yeah. But but let's let's play like devil's advocate for for a moment. What what are some of the the potential pitfalls that Paradise could could face? Hmm. Well, for starters, I mean, creating a a game of this of the scope and complexity, it's it's a, a massive massive technical undertaking. There's there's always the risk of you know bugs glitches and and performance issues especially when you're dealing with with cutting edge technology like like AI right right and even and even if they you know if they iron out all the the technical wrinkles there's still there's still the challenge of balancing uh, balancing player agency with AI autonomy mm-hmm. you you want the AI to to drive the the world and and create unexpected scenarios but you you don't want it to to feel like the the game is is playing itself or that your choices like don't even matter. Right, right. So so finding that that sweet spot it's it's going to be it's going to be crucial. It's it's a tightrope walk between between creating a, a, a world that feels uh, truly dynamic and and ensuring that that players still feel like they they have uh, meaningful control over their over their experience. Exactly. Yeah. And then there's there's the question of you know whether whether this this type of gameplay will even like resonate with with a wide audience. Some some players they they might find the the lack of a, a clear narrative structure or or traditional goals to be to be kind of frustrating. You know yeah. they they might crave the the comfort and familiarity of a 
a more guided, you know, more guided experience. Yeah, that's that's true. Paradise, it, it seems to be targeting a, a very specific type of player, someone who who enjoys, you know, sandbox games, yeah. someone who, who thrives on on experimentation and emergent gameplay, who's who's less interested in in following a, a set path and and more interested in in blazing their their own trail. And and those those players are, are out there. You know, they're they're the ones who who spend hours in in games like like Minecraft or, or Grand Theft Auto just just exploring, creating and and seeing what you know what happens. But yeah. but whether that whether that audience is is large enough to make to make Paradise a, a mainstream success I mean that remains to be seen. Yeah. Okay. So there are there are definitely definitely challenges ahead, but but let's let's not forget the the potential rewards. I mean, if if Paradise can can deliver on its promises, it it could be a a truly groundbreaking groundbreaking experience. Imagine imagine a game world that that feels as as alive and and responsive as our own, where where mm. every every character has a has a story to tell, and and every encounter is is a surprise. It's 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 an exciting exciting prospect, no doubt, and and it could it could have like ripple effects throughout the entire entire gaming industry. We we might see more more developers embracing AI driven narratives, you know, creating games that are that are less about about scripted events and and more about about emergent gameplay. It's like it's like the difference between between watching a movie and and stepping into a, a simulation. GTA was a, a a cinematic a cinematic masterpiece, but Paradise could be could be something altogether different, something that that blurs the the lines between between reality and, and virtuality. And and that kind of brings us brings us back to the the ultimate the ultimate question: what what does this what does this mean for for gamers like you? Right. I mean, if if Paradise succeeds, it could it could change the the way we we play and, and experience games. We we might be might be less interested in in linear stories and more more drawn to to games that offer emergent gameplay where we can shape the the world and and the narrative through our through our choices and interactions. Yeah, and it and it goes it goes beyond the the games themselves. Yeah. Think about the the communities that that could could form around a a game like Paradise. Players, you know, sharing stories of their their unique experiences, debating the the choices they they made, and and collaborating to to unravel the mysteries of this this AI driven world. It's a it's a really tantalizing uh, tantalizing glimpse into the the future of of gaming. And and while while there are you know there are still many many unknowns, one one thing is is certain: Paradise is is pushing the the boundaries of of what we thought was was even possible. And and that's that's something something worth worth celebrating. Yeah. So if if you're you know if you're intrigued by the the idea of a of a game that's that's more like a a living breathing simulation where where your choices have real and and lasting lasting consequences then then keep an eye on on paradise it might just be the the revolution the revolution we've been we've been waiting for yeah and the article it mentions the the official paradise website so we we encourage you to to check it out and stay stay tuned for updates and in the meantime keep those imaginations keep those imaginations running wild who who knows what what incredible incredible gaming experiences await us on the the other side of of this this paradigm shift until next time happy gaming